Now, if you are afraid of getting close to your BF because he might end up noticing your facial hair, or maybe you are a woman or a girl who is just tired of unwanted facial hair but does not want to invest in cosmetic procedures, save this video because you are going to get gold mines of information on how to get rid of your facial hair naturally. Now we have four steps here. 1. Prepping your face for the procedure. 2. Removing hair by opting for either the slow and painless method or by manual method. 3. Slowing down the growth of new hair. 4. And lastly, making sure our skin is rash-free. Now, to quickly get rid of facial hair, we can shave, wax, or pluck it away. However, before opting for that route, I would suggest opting for more gentler way, and that is to rely on homemade paste. By applying these a few times a week makes the hair follicles weaken and fall out. However, keep in mind that before applying any one of these pastes, you must make sure your face is thoroughly cleansed and there is no makeup or dirt. So now let us see what are these pastes. On number one, we have a papaya turmeric paste. It works wonders as a chemical-free hair removal paste since it weakens the hair follicles. And over time, you will notice your hair falling off on its own. To make this paste, mash a raw papaya with 1-2 teaspoon, 1-G, of turmeric powder. Apply the paste to the unwanted hair and let it sit for 15 minutes. Then rinse the paste off with warm water. If you apply the paste two to three times a week, you'll notice the hair falling out after a few weeks. On number two, you have to whip up an egg white mask and peel it off to remove facial hair. Simply whisk one egg white with one tablespoon, 12.5 g of granulated sugar and 1 to 2 tablespoon 6 g of cornstarch spread the paste over the unwanted facial hair and leave it until it's dried this should take 15 to 20 minutes then peel off the dried mask it's important to let the mask dry since this will remove the hair when you pull the mask off on number three make a turmeric and chickpea scrub which works wonders for sensitive skin for a gentle hair remover Mix equal amounts of chickpea flour with ground turmeric. Then mix in enough water to make a thick paste that you can spread on the unwanted facial hair. Leave it on your skin for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off with warm water. Because this is a gentle treatment, you'll need to do it a few times a week, for several weeks before you notice the hair falling out. On number four, we have an oat paste to gently exfoliate your skin and remove hair. Instead of using a harsh exfoliator to remove facial hair, combine two tablespoons, 11 G, of oats with one ripe banana in a blender. Massage the paste onto the hair and leave it to dry for 15 minutes. Then rinse it off with water. Repeat these two to three times a week for a few weeks until you see results. Now you can opt for any of the pastes as per your convenience and stick to it for at least three months to see the result. You don't have to apply the paste daily, but weekly thrice is the best to go for. Once you have chosen what paste you will opt for, make sure to slow down the growth of hair on your face. For this, we have lavender and tea tree oil for unwanted hair to stop hair growth. Simply mix six drops of tea tree oil with one teaspoon, 4.9 milliliter of lavender essential oil. Dip a cotton ball in the mixture and dab it onto the unwanted hair. Then let your skin dry. Do this once a day for three months to begin seeing results. Now let us see the natural manual method to get rid of unwanted facial hair. On number one, we can remove the hair. Manually by shaving. Shave with a single razor blade for quick hair removal. Splash your face with water and massage sensitive skin shaving gel or cream on it. Take a single razor blade, such as a facial or eyebrow razor, and gently run it over your skin. Then rinse your face off with water and pat it dry just before you apply a moisturizing lotion. However, keep in mind to avoid shaving your facial hair if you have acne. Shaving the fine hairs on your face while you have acne will make your skin oilier and more likely to break out. And never forget to rinse the razor frequently so it doesn't clog. On number two, we have waxing. If you are not afraid of pain, waxing the hair gives longer lasting hair removal. It lasts for two to three weeks. 
the best way to prep before waxing your face would be to not wear any makeup before waxing. You should also avoid tweezing or removing any hair before the waxing so that you can get all the hair with the wax. For this, apply warm wax to the hair on your face. Firmly press a cloth on the wax and then pull it off to remove the unwanted hair. To make it easier, purchase prepared wax strips that you simply press on your face. If you'd like a gentler treatment that's easier to remove than wax, use a sugar paste instead of wax. On number three, you can use tweezers to pluck just a few facial hairs. Now this method can be helpful to those who don't have a lot of hair to remove or don't want to remove fine facial hairs. In that case, you can use tweezers to pluck only those unwanted individual hairs. Use slanted tweezers since they grip the hair better than needle nose tweezers. Lastly, you can rub a pumice stone to gently buff away facial hair. Shower for 5 to 10 minutes so the hot water softens your skin and opens your pores. Soak a pumice stone in water while you shower. Then rub a facial moisturizer on your skin and rub the stone over your face using small circular motions. Continue to gently scrub your face for 1 to 2 minutes before rinsing your face with water. If you have a double-sided pumice stone, use the softer side to prevent skin irritation. Use the pumice stone on your face only once a week so your skin doesn't become red or inflamed. Now I hope until now you should have found which method to opt for. But if you want to have long-lasting actress-like effects, you have to opt for cosmetic procedures. Now if you want me to make a detailed video on the same, make sure to get this video at least 10k likes. Before saying adios, here are a few simple tips to keep in mind. 1. Apply a moisturizer that works well with your skin immediately after trying any of these hair removal methods. 2. Always practice good hygiene and wash your hands before doing any hair removal method on your face. 3. Do a patch test on your skin before removing hair from your face. You will be able to see if your skin reacts to treating your entire face. Until the next video, take care and adios.